<laughs> this bite was a true book, but we gonna keep going because it's still a little vague. Let's get let's get more into it. It's still a little vague as to who the real Israelites are. Who the biblical Jews actually are. Watch this. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. Your enemy shall do what? Put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. Who had yokes of iron on their neck? Slaves. What nation of people is that? Africa. Yeah, that's us. Let's talk about black and Hispanics too. They went through the same thing. They like to act high, high, high society nowadays when, when, when dealing with their brothers. You know what I mean? They like to act like they like the, the no. They was young, them up. Uh, right, we niggas and them niggas too. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? They just don't like to acknowledge that. But those are our brothers. We've been divided. We've been scattered. So now we hate each other. You understand what I'm saying? Come on. Until he had destroyed thee. So we say, well, we ain't slaves no more because the yokes of iron came off, right? In 18, was it 1863? 1862, right? So-called, the Emancipation Proclamation, right? But what was devised while those emancipations were being signed, right? What was being devised was called the Black Codes, which means what? You couldn't be standing here right now talking to me on the street or, or the, 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 your enemy would have the authority by government to take you right back to the plantation and put you right back into slavery. Legally, it was the law. It was called black codes. Still the law. It's still the law. When you got, nah, I ain't gonna get it. Well, yeah, yeah. When you, when you, get, when you get out of, when you get out of, uh, let's say when you go to, you ever been to prison? I don't, don't want to get to. Well, when you go to prison, right? There, you can get into what's called a labor force or a labor program, right? A work program, job program. They got different names, but they all mean the same thing. The labor that you're doing is. You, uh, you might, the highest I've ever seen somebody get paid is 15 cents an hour, right? That's the highest I've ever seen. So you can afford your commissary, you can afford your draws, you can afford maybe if you work long enough, hard enough. But you're doing a job that some, that the same uh, 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 that a, that a, that, a, that a, let's say somebody who's not in the penal system is doing, and they're making a fair wage, right? You got to do the same. Meaning the labor is the same, but your pay is so little, so little. You got to put like deodorant is like the, the that's like the Christmas list. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? You're like, yo, one day I'm be able to save up enough to get some get us some some new soap. Get some. This is crazy. This is what we call normal, now, right? These are black holes disguised. When you lose when the penal system is when is when you lose all your rights. You have no rights in the penal system. You have no rights. You just can't be treated or or blatantly treated or regard it as an animal, as an animal. But it's still some laws that gives animals more rights than you, even in, even free. You understand? But that's another story. I digress. So the scriptures say, in one of all things, you're going to serve your enemies. You're going to serve them. What that mean for LeBron James? He on his way to being a billionaire. What that mean for Michael Jordan? What that mean for Oprah? What that mean for them? They ain't got to serve their enemies. Bring it up! They ain't got to serve their enemies. Oh, they serving them. You better believe it. They serve them. They serve them. And to keep the facade up for the next line of talented young black men to do the same thing, to give their life to entertaining their enemies, they got to give one of them a whole lot. They got to. What else would he have? What else would this young man have hope to, uh, to do? What else, he, no, that ain't the way I'm going to go and learn how to help my community, help my people from suffering. I see my I see crime in here. I'm going to learn how to. Uh, uh, establish jobs in a workforce in our community where we ain't got to turn to crime and, and, and drug use and all these things and all, and all these different uh, institutions that we have set up that just makes us more, uh, makes us monsters. Makes us monsters. You understand? A lot of us sell crack. We don't want to. Our people don't want, some of them don't want to. It's just like, I don't know no other way. I wasn't taught highly in education. I wasn't uh, my, my, I had no father. He's in, he locked up or dead. Uh, my mama, she on the same dope. And yo, sh it, what else I'm supposed to do? What else I'm supposed to do? But God forbid, God forbid, one of our black young boys don't look at LeBron James instead. They think, no, 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 my people needs hope. They have no hope, so they turn to a reckless and hopeless lifestyle. 
they know it's going to end with death and, and, and imprisonment. They know that. Yo, it's all what other choice I got. So, God forbid, one of these young black men turn to facilitating or, or instituting something like that in their community. God forbid. Right? Watch this. The Lord shall bring a nation against thee from far, says the Lord. Because we, once upon a time, we were on the western coast of Africa. We are on the central, the, 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 the Congo. That's more, the central Africa, right? We were on the eastern coast of Africa. We were in, the, in, in that part of the world, right? But he said he's going to bring a nation from far, from far. Watch this. From the end of the earth. From the end of the earth, meaning from the other hemisphere, the other part of the earth. Come on. As swift as the eagle flieth. As swift as what? As the eagle flieth. As swift as the eagle flieth. The Lord is telling us plainly who these enemies are. Plainly. Plainly. Whose symbol is the eagle? All over the world. America. Who else? I'm going to jump the gun. I'm going to jump the gun. All white nations. And this ain't just about black and white. This ain't just about so-called. It ain't white. They pink, right? This all pink nations, right, boast the eagle as their symbol. All the British, Russia, Germany, all of them. All of them. Right? Watch this. As swift. You're all European. Well, that, you're, yeah, that just means paradise. But they actually, in the Bible, they're known of as Esau. Esau. That's their forefather. That was the beginning of the white race because before him, a lot of people ask us that, like, where does he come from? If, if, like, why did God create him? We can get into that too, right? The short, the short answer is because we bad as hell. We Dolores bad little babies. That's who we are. That's the short answer. So he, 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 had, he didn't want to kill us. If he got to deal with us, he going to kill us. Our father don't play. He will kill us. He will open the earth. And we'll all fall in there and he'll close it up on our behind. That's how the Lord get down. We don't want him to come and whoop our behind. So he said, okay, all right, let me go and have somebody tighten them up. Get their mind right. Let them know what it is real quick. Let me tighten them up a little bit, right? Watch this. Come on. The Lord shall bring a nation against thee from far, uh -huh. from the end of the earth, as swift as the eagle flyeth, a nation whose tongue thou shalt not understand. What was you speaking before English? Well, some language of Africa, probably, yeah. uh, Swahili was one, but there are many African languages. Right, that's, that's right. Thousands of African dialects, thousands, right? So-called Africa, because Africa was also a white man, Leo Scipius Africanus. It's a continent, it's not a country. Right, exactly, I'm, I'm just saying, the, the, the continent of Africa, we get into that, we get into that. But exactly, it's thousands of languages, so it's like 1,300, no, 3,100 languages on that continent alone, right? Hundreds of different tribes on the continent alone, right? But it says, whose tongue ye sh you shall not understand. You're not going to understand these people. That's why we now speak. We don't speak like they speak. We got like, it's like, hey, how you doing, man? They don't talk like that. And it's because we haven't always spoke this language. Just like you got the, the, the Chinese, they come here and they, how are you doing today? So they sound different because they didn't always speak this. You understand what I'm saying? We got a culture and a history before we was here. That's why we, it's certain things is different about us. So we, exactly, exactly. We become westernized, right? Watch this. A nation of fierce countenance. A nation of fierce countenance. A fierce countenance, right? Watch this. Which thou, which shall not regard the person of the old. They ain't gonna care about the age, man. They ain't gonna, they don't give, oh man, let them live. I know we conquering right now, and this is war, but man, he, he got probably about 10 more years. Let him, what are he going to do? How he going to hurt the army? How, come on, man. Let him, let him. No, no, no. They don't give a damn if you owe. Watch this. No! Look at, look at Bill Cosby. Why y'all go after that man? He, about, he got, God forbid, you know, I don't want nobody, I don't want the brother to die or nothing, but I'm just saying. I know he out now, but I'm you remember what they put him through. And he was old as hell. Like, why? Why? What's the point of that? What's the point of that? To show the rest of you niggas that want to stand up. Bill Cosby had big plans to do things for his people, like the Cosby Show. Why well, call him Bill Cosby? I mean, um, the Huxtables. Remember the Huxtables? That was a positive thing that he showed our people. 
and to us it's normal, but it's a lot of our people, young men, they were like, wow, I, I like that. Because they mama, you know, they daddy, you understand what I'm saying? They in the gutter, they in the hood, not living like daddy a doctor, mama, a, what was the mama? A lawyer, come on, that what, who? Come on, man, that's not common in the neighborhood, in, the, in, in our community. So what he was doing is he was showing, he's giving us power, po po positive, powerful imagery, which is very important. It's very, very important. It's very important, that's what he was doing. So they took an old man, and they did not regard him at all. This nigga gonna die in prison. We don't give a damn about some stuff we don't even know he did. We don't know, we gotta find something. It ain't like he went and told on himself, I, I wanna make a confession. No, some, somehow, some woman came forth for something to happen 20 years ago, some crazy 30 years, come on, man. Come on, how that, what, how is that fair? How is that right? It's plank that try to destroy this brother. Read that again. A nation of fierce countenance, fierce. which shall not regard the person of the old, nor show favor to the young. They don't care about the young either, look at Trayvon. Don't give a damn. It's not in them to care. It's not in them. God is telling you about his creation. Didn't he make them? He can tell you exactly how they is, man. We want to say, nah, not all of them. No. no. He telling you straight up. The one who made them tell us straight up. Watch this. Is that it on that? Jump down. I want you to jump down. I want to get straight to the point. Uh, jump, to, jump to verse 64. Watch this. No, jump to 68. Watch this. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 68. Come on. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. Now, who is in Egypt, sir? Egypt? The, no, 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 I'm saying, okay, okay. Remember, the Israelites is who Moses is speaking to, right? So we had just come up, Moses had just been sent by God into Egypt, right? Who did he come out with? Remember, God said, what said Moses? He said, go and tell Pharaoh. Let my people tell them. I said, let my people. Go. Remember that. He was talking about the Israelites. Let them Israelites go. I'm telling you now. That's what God did before He jacked uh, Pharaoh and his people up. Right. He said, I'm telling you, let my people go. Let them go. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna bring, bring these little plagues <laughs> until I just destroy. I'm telling you, let my people go. Right. So now He said, the Lord is going to send you back into Egypt. Why is He saying that? After all these curses, we can read the whole book. After all these curses, black people still don't want to listen. We still don't want to listen. We still want to keep Thanksgiving. We still want to keep Christmas. We still want to keep everything as people that did this to a whole nother people that did nothing to them. What did we do to deserve that? What did we do? He said they're going to come from a whole nother side of the planet to where y'all at. You ain't even gonna, y'all ain't even gonna understand each other's language. To do this to you. What the hell? That's the devil. That's who that is. But we still keep Thanksgiving, which is founded on this, but with the natives. Our brothers, the, they call it the Native Americans, which is in the Bible, the tribe of Gad and the tribe of Reuben. You find those names and those nations That's in the Bible. Now we think some reason, oh, there's a bunch of new people just pop up on earth. Boom, now it's... One people just vanish and other people just pop up. No, everybody has been renamed so that Negroes never understand that they are greater than Negroes. Right. Now you're the Israelites, chosen of God. You are the sons of God. You're not regular men or women. You are little gods on this earth. We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road. Purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.